Hey y'all, Patrick here. Hope y'all have been fantastic lately. And today we're talking about this guy right here, the GB Modern 4 from Court. And this is probably one of the most, if not the most feature packed bases I've ever played. And not only that, but the feel, the playability and the tones that you get out of it are just out of this world. And the fact that all this together is under a thousand dollars is absolutely mind blowing to me. So let's talk about Court. They're one of those brands that I always get super excited about whenever they announce new models, just because they always pack so much bang for your buck into each instrument that they sell. And I've really come to discover that no matter if it's one of their more affordable instruments or more of their high end instruments at a higher price tag, they're always going to give you such value no matter what. And it's so exciting again, just to see what new ones they come out with. So this is where we come to the GB Modern 4, where honestly, again, this is probably one of the most feature packed bases I've ever played and at only a thousand dollars too. It's quite a steal to say the least. But before we really dig into the nitty gritty of the GB Modern 4 and for the sake of transparency, this video is sponsored by Court. But of course, as always with any sponsored content that I make that has absolutely no effect on what I say, my opinions or any of the sounds in this video either. So yeah, let's just jump right into it. So starting with the body itself, um, it looks damn good. Just <laughs> straight up. It looks so good to me. Just look at that. Just the style itself is a beautiful sort of jazz bass style, but everything else is just so different and I absolutely love it. The body basically starts out with a maple core and then has polonia wings and a poplar burl top that just looks so good to me. This finish in particular is the open pour vintage natural finish. And y'all, what can I say? It is just gorgeous. The colors, the open pour of it, just the natural beauty of it is so delectable in my opinion. To me, it's just one of those bases that you can just sit down, stare at it and just go, that's hot. <laughs> You have chrome hardware throughout the body as well as a Babix FCH4 bridge. Now this bridge is something I've never really experienced before, but it is super rad. Not only are you able to adjust the height of the saddles, but you could actually lock them into to ensure that they're not gonna go anywhere, which is really nice actually. Then for your electronics, starting with the pickups, you have a pair of Nordstrand big singles that are just fantastic. I've never actually gotten to play with Nordstrand big singles before, but they sound so thick and so dynamic. Even when it's in passive mode, when you just switch between the bridge and the neck pickup, you're able to get so many different dynamic tones alone from that. But then you get to add EQ controls with the active mark bass MB preamp, where you can adjust your classic bass, mids, and treble too on top of that. Then moving up, you have a 22 fret roasted maple neck with a roasted maple fretboard loaded with black binding, black square inlays, and lumen lace side dots too. And I love this neck. It feels so good and so solid in your hands. And not only that, but the neck has a satin finish too. So it's so easy to glide up and down that fretboard with absolute ease. And then finally moving up to the headstock, which I feel like traditionally I wouldn't like the shape of, but this one I'm actually really digging. You have hip shot ultralight tuners, which in combination with that Babix bridge, keep your tuning perfect all around. And it's just such a beast of an instrument. For the pop 
positives on the GB Modern 4, I have to say, uh, pretty much everything. <laughs> the variety of tones that you're able to get no matter what genre you play, it's also so well balanced too. Not only the tone, but the base itself. You have a super lightweight body that's incredibly comfortable, but the neck balance itself is off the charts and absolutely perfect. I just love the playability and how slick this base is, just going up and down that fretboard with absolute ease. For the negatives, in my opinion, there really are none. I feel like at this point, you're just gonna have subjective differences, like you'd probably want more finish alternatives or something like that. But this base overall, the GB Modern 4 is fantastic. Not only do you get high quality parts and such a beautiful finish overall, but everything works together so well, where you get an entire variety of different tones at hand, no matter whether it's something more metal based or something more laid back R&B or country based, there's so much that you're able to get out of this instrument. And it's incredible, again, that you're able to get so much quality for under a thousand dollars too. But of course, let me know what you guys think about the GB Modern 4 and what other court bases should I be taking a look at? Thank y'all so much for watching as always, for watching, commenting, liking, sharing, subscribing, following me on social media, all that insane weird stuff. I truly do appreciate y'all. And of course, a humongous thank you to my Patreon people right here. Mwah, mwah. If you'd like to help support the channel every single month like one of these gorgeous people right here, then go ahead and head on over to my Patreon page. But y'all, thank y'all so much for watching again as always. No matter where in the world you are, stay safe, practice that bass, go out and vote if you're in the United States right now, and I'll see y'all next time.